So what we're looking at here is what the AC guys have been doing. They have gotten their duct work and vents installed. Their line sets are in place. We're to a point where the carpenters can go ahead and start to close the sheetrock in these areas. We can also see where the electricians have pretty much finished their work on the inside. And so the carpenters have just been closing uh, the sheetrock where they can while we wait for the plumbers. All right, so I'm able to see where these guys have made a little bit of progress this week. We've managed to get the AC guys out and they have placed most of the line sets in this building. We have 10 units in this building. I see four line sets here and I see four on the other end. So it looks like they still have two more sets of line sets to run. And I just need to take a look inside and see what, if any progress they've made on those two um, middle units, the upstairs and downstairs and middle units. Uh, it doesn't look like the plumber has shown back up. I'm quite disappointed uh, in that, uh, but that's a uh, discussion for another time. These guys have also went ahead and started to close some of the sheetrock. So we have the sheetrock closed in at least one unit. Uh, so all in all, the progress has been great. Uh, again, my biggest disappointment this week has been the plumber. He's actually getting to the point where he's starting to slow the project down. So I need to give him a call and just see what the holdup is. So we'll go ahead and just do that right now, as a matter of fact. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic right. voice message system. Not one is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey Marcus, it's Lim Oliver here. Uh, if you would give me a call back, sir. Thank you. So now I'm starting to get the feeling that the plumber is avoiding me. It's real easy to get that feeling when the money gets ahead of the work and you're calling and you get no answer. This is the second day I tried to call him without an answer. So uh, this is really getting to be a problem. Um, so I guess I'll just wait to hear from him. All right, so it looks like we're making some real progress inside these units now. We're starting to close up and button up the sheetrock. So it won't be much longer now. So right here is inside one of the bedrooms. What you can hear in the background there is Anthony with the sander. The sheetrock, once you patch it, has to still be taped, mudded, and then sanded uh, before it can be primed and painted. What we can see here is the service wall. This has been purposefully left open in the bathroom side of the service wall so that the inspectors can come in and actually see the new picks that have been put in place and give it their stamp of approval. Line sets for all five units. Alright, so it 
looks like we are making a little bit of progress this week. The uh, sheetrock is actually going up now. Um, my plumber is here today and I am very um, anxious to get a chance to talk to him and see what has been going on since it has been 25 days uh, since he finished an apartment. So let's see what's going on. So this is just another walkthrough of one of the other units. Again, you can see where the sheetrock has been nailed in place, but still needs tape, uh, mud, and sanding before we can prime it and paint it. Pretty much the same thing in this room. Uh, we just need to get the carpenters in, let them do their thing from here, and close their part on out as well. We have found these jacuzzi style tubs to be very popular with the residents. That is one thing uh, among many of the upgrades that we've made to this property that allows us to charge a premium rent for the area. So the plumber is actually here. He's working. Rather than me trying to have some discussion with him at this point about why the project is not on my timeline, seems somewhat pointless I mean at this point to stop him from working and talk to him about it would just slow the project down even more so I'll just hold my tongue for now as we take a look at some of the upstairs units we can see that once the inspection is done we can pretty much turn the carpenters loose up here and just close the sheetrock up so we can just go ahead and move this project forward. We did have one other unexpected event at this time. We had a roof in another building that actually leaked and rather than pull my carpenters off placing the sheetrock on this 10 unit building we elected to just go ahead in the interest of time and bring in another crew to take care of and replace this roof